and thank you for joining me for another Cookies Tech and Talk Table. This is going to be um, a long going series of the GPD Win 2. And on this particular episode, is we're going to be talking about the expansion storage for this handheld device. So I'm just going to get right into it because there are other videos talking about the expansion storage for the GPD Win 2. Um, but they just kind of address the solid state drive. I'm going to address all the areas that are plausible for memory expansion. So, like many, I was part of the Indiegogo campaign. I was part of the first 1,000 people that was able to pre-order this for $5.99 in January. And, of course, I waited five, six months to receive my item. And when I received it, I lost my mind. This is possibly the most strongest handheld open source gaming portable device ever created by man and can sit side by side with the Nintendo Switch. And in fact, the Nintendo Switch and the GPD Win 2 are my two items of choice. Um, with that being said, the nifty one of the nifty innovations about this is that you can upgrade the solid state drive, which is on the back. By unscrewing this, you can go and put in a 2242 solid state drive. Um, which it looks like this. Uh, it has like three pins right there. And normally, with the label facing up, you can go and just snap it right in. There's a small screw right here that you unscrew. You could take out the other solid state drive and just push this in. And then, of course, just screw this back on. So by default, the GPD Win 2 comes with 128 gigabytes. That's nothing new. But if you are a gamer like me and you play lots of games, and this device has been marketed with emulation in mind, but also to keep current with the times is also being advertised for avid PC gamers, for AAA games, that um, you're going to need more storage space. 120 gigabytes is just not enough. So I'm just going to start with the solid state drive first, and then I'm going to walk around to talk about how I did the memory expansion for the micro SD card and also the USB 3.1 um, expansion as well. So with the solid state drive, there are these recommended ones like Transcend. My computer is here in the background and you may not be able to see it, but Transcend was another solid state drive that goes up to 512 gigabytes. Personally, I kind of did a bit unorthodox and went outside the box and did something a little different. I went with a 480 gigabyte solid state drive by this company right here is called Dogfish Dogfish Technology. It came in this box right here and it was really nicely packaged. In fact, when I opened it up, it came with this nice note to the customer, which is me, about thank you for purchasing their technology. Now, the moment I put it in, it was excellent. It, it was able to recognize and I was able to go and boot up the recent firmware that Indiegogo has put up and also GPD.HK has put up, for those who don't know, for, um, for, the, for the current model of the GPD Win 2. So by loading the recent firmware onto the micro, not the micro, the USB 3.1, I was able to do Windows, reinstall Windows and everything else on this solid state drive and move a lot of my games to the solid state drive with still having about 250 gigabytes left in space just alone. So I play a lot of emulators, a lot of PC games, preferably Steam. And also I have this user interface called LaunchBox. So I have one removable drive functioning off a of LaunchBox. I have the solid state drive running the emulators and then I have my micro SD card which is running all of my Steam games. So I kind of separated things out so that not everything is stuck on one drive. And then I keep a backup of all my games on this Kingston 512 gigabyte stick. So I'm just going to go over again. So I went with Dogfish Technology, which you can find on Newegg. Now one of the reasons why I went with Dogfish Technology for the 480 gigabyte 2242 SSD was because they had a recent sale. And the sale was 120 bucks. I literally paid 120 bucks for 480 gigabytes off a of new egg. It was a flash sale, so I doubt the sale is still there. And because of that, I went right with it. I said, "Hey, it's only 30 gigabytes lower than 512. Hey, 480 is more than enough for what I need. I highly recommend it. It's been able to do transfer speeds of 
480 480 megabytes megabytes a second to 520 and so I've in, I've enjoyed this so far so good no issues no overheating dogfish technology comes in a nice box like this and so I'm recommending this as another option outside of transcend and that's where my research has let uh, has led me to next oh and so of course one more time it looks like this of course with the dogfish label this is the previous SSD this is the 128 I already opened it up and put the 480 in here but this is what the solid state drive by default looks like and this is the 128 by SanDisk that they put in mine so put that back right there okay now for the micro SD for the original GPD Win 1 I was using a 256 gigabyte micro SD it was a class 10 but now micro SD cards have advanced we are now up to 512 gigabyte micro SD cards as well as 400 micro SD now what did I do I went with the SanDisk 400 gigabyte micro SD this is the A1 there's a sale on the A1 because the transfer speeds for this is 100 gigabytes a second but there is a new model known as the A2 version of the 400 gigabyte which has transfer speeds up at max to 150 gigabytes a second so this also was on sale and my sale for this was $150 so I went with the 400 gigabyte A1 first generational model and a, um, versus the A2 model which is like $500 right now it's like crazy cash for the A2 model for the same thing mind you the A2 model is red and gold while this is the first generation one is gray or silver gray and red I've had a wonderful time oops I dropped it I've had a wonderful time Let's see if I bring this up to the camera so you can see it's 400 gigabytes right there I had a great time being able to go and transfer all of my steam games onto this so steam I have steam running on this and I haven't had an issue with any of my PC games now I play a lot of adventure platform a lot of 2d retro and a lot of anime fighters such as melty blood blaze blue um, guilty gear etc and because of that they don't seem to have an issue running off the micro SD card but then again this is the GPD win 2 and the micro SD card has been um, extremely modified and optimized and made better than the original first generational model of the GPD Win 1. I always keep a 256 gigabyte and a 128, the label came off of this, as a backup. So I would still have my 256 that I was using on the first gen model and a 128. But for right now, I'm currently using the 400 gigabyte. A1 first gen model by SanDisk for this in addition with a 480 gig by Dogfish Technology SSD now moving on to the micro thumb once again SanDisk came out with another micro thumb and this is a 256 gigabyte micro thumb this is my original 128 that I used on the first gen model of GPD Win 1 so I have 256 gigs I'm waiting for when the 400 and 512 will eventually come out and I like this because you can stick this in and it look like it's a part of the machine it's not sticking out like you would do a regular USB and look like it's a part of the machine and that's something that I really really like I could have gone with anything else you know I could have gone with another company but I decided to go with SanDisk because they have treated me so well also they have proprietary technology from what I understand and with their own technology that they have patented they've been able to reach the max read and write speeds in any other say company such as Kingston but then again Kingston has also done me well I guess it's all about user preference some like the Samsung some like the SanDisk now this one is actually the Samsung 128 thumb and this has done me well so I like both Samsung and Kingston but in terms of space right now this right here the SanDisk has bigger space than the Samsung as a micro thumb and I like that a lot 
I'm just going to backtrack for a second on the micro SD card. So you know, there's one company, it's known as Integral. Integral has created a 512 gigabyte micro SD, but it doesn't move nowhere nearly as fast as the 400 gigabyte model created by SanDisk. I guess now it comes down to preference. If you really, really honestly want to max out the GPD Win 2, you can technically get a 512 SSD, a 512 micro SD card, and a 256 micro USB 3.1 thumb. With that being said, you'll have a little bit over one terabyte, one terabyte, 256. And if that works well for you and you don't worry about transfer speeds and read speeds, then hey, you can be sitting on the most powerful handheld computer device in your pocket just based on the space and memory alone. Because I'm willing to downsize a bit for myself because I really care about those read speeds and the read speeds really will dictate how your games will run. I decided to go once again with the 480 gigabyte SSD by Dogfish, the 400 gigabyte micro SD card by SanDisk, and then the 256 gigabyte micro thumb USB 3.1. So these are just some options out there. I've enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to do another video which goes more deeper into the games that I play. I just kind of wanted to couple everything here on what I'm using, why I'm using it, and for what I'm using it for. So I use my solid state drive for my emulators, my arcade emulation like MAME, um, D-Mule for my, for my Dreamcast, Naomi, Naomi 2, Hikaru, a Thomas Wave, and then also Final Burn. So all of my emulation, SNES 9 for Super Nintendo, Cajun for Genesis, all that is on this, the SSD. And then I used the micro SD card for all of my Steam games. In fact, I installed Steam on this. And then I use my user interface, which is LaunchBox. So I don't have any games on this. I use LaunchBox, also Hyperspin, because these user interface programs that work in tandem with your emulators and PC games, they take up so much space when they download the movies and the files and the images that go into making all of that front end stuff look beautiful. It takes up a lot of space. And so because I wanted to move fast, I've decided to put it on the micro thumb versus the micro SD card so that when I play my emulation and I'm using my user interface such as LaunchBox or Hyperspin, they load up like that um, almost as fast, faster than the micro SD card to be honest, and almost I wouldn't say nearly as fast as the SSD, but in second place to the micro S to the micro SD to the SSD whenever I'm playing my games. I've been highly satisfied. This truly is a device that I've been waiting for a long time. And then, if you're a computer geek such as myself, then you already know that the most important thing is backup, backup, backup. Make sure you backup all of your games. Now, right now, I use the HyperX. 512 gigabyte by Kingston Technology. This is also USB 3.1. This was a gift from me a long time ago, so I've been sitting on this way before the GPD-1 and 2. But I keep a lot of the backups of all of my emulation games, not only for my laptop, for my main PC, but also now the GPD Win 2. So I highly recommend whatever you put onto this, whether it be the, the micro thumb, the the micro SD card or the SSD, make sure you have a large enough, truly invest in nothing lower than a 512, especially just by Kingston, the HyperX, and keep a backup of all your games. Just if things fail, you can go and just reload or recopy and put back on these um, reloadable, reloadable storage devices. Let me know what you think, guys. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was informative and somewhat entertaining. Um, I try to do well on my videos so that I get straight to the point um, and give the information that people want. Um, if you like this video, please do subscribe to the Goddesses Media Network. I will be making more videos as the weeks continue. I'm going to try to stay consistent so I can show some of my emulation um, on what I play and how they run. Okay, thank you for joining me.